Good. I think he says welcome everybody to another episode of the Tangent Podcast. Episode number 98 for the week of January 16, 2017. I am your host, Brian Thomas, alongside my lovable co-host, Justin Kane. Hello. The Beacon of Light, Anthony Salvatore. What's going on? Bootless Wonder, Gary Hines. What up? <laughs> <laughs> We're the podcast for the site pixelatedpoints.com, where we talk about the video games that we've been playing during the week in a little segment we like to call Under Your Thumb, and then we take a quick break and come right back with the drunken news. But before we hop into Under Your Thumb, Gary, I know that you have... You what want to you hear been, what happened? Yeah, I want to know what, what happened, happened this week during your week. You said you have a story. It's sad. I fucked up. What? Hold on. Uh, fucked up. I don't know what I just said there, but what happened? R.I.P. Xbox One. Your Xbox One. Your Xbox One died. One died. Holy yeah. shit. Well, he what do you care? You're PC Elite now. I killed it. I killed, it. I killed my but Xbox. But still. Still. Behind. <laughs> so, as many of you know, what I spill shit. Uh, (laughs) so i have my desk set up with my pc next to my desk there's a table with my xbox on it i literally was about to go to the gym but i was like i want to play one game of overwatch so i was drinking my pre-workout i had it on my desk i went to 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 grab it knocked it over (laughs) straight into my xbox it has a vent for the fan right on yeah. top of it, so... It went straight into the Xbox. I tried to save it. It still turns on. Still turns on, but it doesn't look good right now. Can <laughs> you open it? I haven't opened it. Don't even bother with Microsoft yeah. customer service. No. Just go out. I, mean, I, I told them to, to wait for the score. Uh, uh, nah, I'm going to get, get something cheap. You're going to get an X, uh, I'm gonna get one S? Potentially. I so if I find the right right deal. I mean, I did keep need an eye out for you. more hard drive space anyways, mm-hmm. and I want it to upgrade. Yeah, but you want to get two teraflops? I need to. Slim. The one teraflop isn't working out anyways, but, <laughs> but it at least turns on right now. Oh, 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 oh. He almost had another Dude, situation. Just, what was that? Dude, I was like <laughs> reaching to press the block. And I smacked my microphone. Yeah, off. that's why you need to knock it off. Yeah. Um, it's but yeah, so it still turns on, but when it turns on, it shows like a widescreen angle, so there's no, it doesn't fill the whole screen, gotcha. and it's not HD. Uh, so it's probably the HDMI output from your Xbox. That, that sounds exact. Yeah, I would agree with everything. I think it's said. not enough teraflops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah potentially, but yeah, it's fucking fried. Like, I'm. How do you like your eggs? Oh God! Don't answer. <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer that. All right. I'm not even gonna answer well, that. Well, I'm sorry right. to hear that. Yeah. You know, so. Shit. Yeah. Well, it's been good. It's just that one. That, that one. One, I one slip of the fingers. Well, when you're elite, you just <laughs> pour yeah, shit on other stuff. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't too concerned. I kind of looked at it. <laughs> what it was just died. like kept playing Overwatch. <laughs> just like round started in ten <laughs> seconds. I don't really get. Yeah. I got focused. Yeah. Plenty so I mean, I still been playing PC, but yeah. R.I.P. Xbox right now. Well, it's painful. Rest yeah. in peace. How about you, Brian? Fine. Fine. Yeah. I, I What's your have, Xbox doing? My like Xbox it? is working. Yeah, um, yeah I've That's just good. been working. There's nothing really to report. Oh, uh, Tia and I, my fiance, we might have found a venue, so we're going to look fiance. at that soon. So sweet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's expensive shit. Yeah, it's really expensive. Weddings are a racket. Yeah. It's a racket. Yeah. yeah. It's so terrible. feel free to donate. Yeah. Set up an account. Yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. Go to our Patreon. Yeah. Go to our Go Patreon. Patreon and support me. That would yeah. be tremendous. <coughs> we'll live stream it. You support. Uh, <laughs> Tom Donator gets to go, so it's gonna yeah. be a ripping ass party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys have anything? No, I'm ready to do this. This is my favorite part of my week, so let's just this get this. This is your week. This, this, is, this is, is it. This is what you live for. Yep. Justin, Justin, Justin anything else? You know when I leave here, I don't even move. I'm not even animated. I just like stand still outside of Brian's door, and then every Friday I just walk back in. It's weird. I never see him when I leave my apartment, though. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're a podcast about video games. Um, so last week, Justin, you went last for Under Your Thumb. So why don't you tell us who you want to go first? Okay. Uh, I want me to go first. You're going to go first? I think I'll go first. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, what, do, what have you been playing this week? Tell us. Um, so What's been I... under your thumb? Thanks. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> uh, Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Thanks. Hold uh, on. Sorry. Were you good? Wait. A little longer. So I played Dishonored 2. I Very nice. Up. I remember. You could have borrowed it, but... Yeah, you know what? I just wanted it. It was one of those games that I knew... I was gonna want, mm-hmm. and I got it from my Xbox since that's what I play a lot. 
There you go. For your PlayStation. Can't fly. Can't, well, I guess the, the Platinum would have been nice, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I mean, I guess you guys really said a, a lot about it. The one thing I will say is I love the new environment. I do like the um, the flies better than I like the rats. I think okay. they're more difficult, which actually at yeah. some points, they, I, I you can basically just bat them out of the air if you stay in a funnel. But I think they were more interesting than the rats, at least. Fun fact for you, a little tip, pro tip, just kill the hive. They stop. They stop. Yeah, That's I mean, of you. course. I mean, you can't keep come the on, right? flies. Not new. But but saying they're, still, they're still there when you get there, and some mm-hmm. of them come out as you get closer. So do you like Karnaka better than you do um, Dunwall? Um, because I feel you, like they, the majority they feel of the game, very similar. Yeah. I f- well, I know that Karnaka is the... the Su- most southern point of the world yeah. in, I guess, Dishonored. It's so it's water. more tropical. It's right off of the water. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. Um, I, but I do feel like it feels almost like Dunwall's right around the corner. I don't feel that far away. Gotcha, okay. But Who are you um, playing as? Yeah. I picked Emily to start since you know we've played Corvo before. I will say that I suck at stealth. I just, I'm like, alright, I'm going to be stealth a little bit. Yeah. And I get like two guys and then so like, hey, who's yeah. that over there? And I just stand up. I'm like, let's go! <laughs> like, I probably could have just yeah. ran away from that. Or blink behind them, and they're like, what happened? Yeah. And then you just no. knock them out. Yeah. But like, I got, that's how, you know, that's how I got the platinum. It's fine. Yeah. I just yeah. Don't listen to Brian. 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 Don't listen if I really wanted to, but I highly doubt that. I think you could if you... If I applied wanted. myself, yeah, but I just don't... Because Brian was saying... When have you ever done that? Yeah, never. If you liked it enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, but never. It's the same reason why most people don't platinum Dark Souls. No. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Or, you know, beat... I'm still... We still gotta get that Let's Play now. I gotta <laughs> beat that tree boss. It was open my yeah, ass. I think you got that. <laughs> yeah. The tree dick, if I'm... Uh, oh. Something was and then you guys still have another boss after that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, we got a lot of Let's Plays coming up. Yeah. So go Do over it. to YouTube.com, search Pixelated Points. You'll see all our yeah, Let's Plays. We're awesome. doing Until Dawn right now. Justin's got some Dark Souls. But anyways, back to Dishonored 2, though, Justin. So I made it to the level you had mentioned. Uh, uh, Jindosh. Jindosh is the Clockwork Manor. Manor. Clockwork Manor. Yeah. This place was fucking insane. Okay. It what was you? insane. So in the world... On this particular, is it? It's big. Is it a continent or is it like a, a country? This is a continent. So you'll see, you'll end up finding maps that show you it's it's a continent. So this is the smartest person on this continent. He the is like if you played, Sokolov. yeah, if you played the first game, Sokolov is kind of like you're a genius. And then this was like it's the passing of the torch. It's think of it as, uh, um, fuck, t- uh, Tony Stark's dad. Uh, I can't think of his name. Well, right Aristotle and Plato. Well, sure, well, yeah. Mis- yeah, so it's basically the passing of the torch. So Sokolov is the genius, the creator. Of wall, and he of, made the light walls, and he yeah. made all the technology in the first one. That you beat. And now Jindosh is doing that here in Karnaka. Yeah, well, they're they're like equal. So it's cool to see that you're you're coming to this place, and then they have those set pieces themselves. Like, okay, you're here's the leader of the place and here's the government and he, oh they have their genius who has their technology and hooks them up with all the shit so it was cool to see his rendition because you've been in Sokolov's house mm-hmm. and then you're in this guy's house and obviously they planned for it more for this one but it was just really cool this guy's house the way the floors moved in one of the rooms was completely round and you hit a button on a board for let's say you want the alchemy lab and you hit the button and the floor will drop down and other floors will rise up on the pillar and change around and come in. It's <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's very like 1860s Tony Stark, where Tony Stark has all the holograms around him and the Marvel movies, um, but you know he you don't have that technology yet. So it's very very interesting. Um, I thought the level design in that that map especially was crazy because when you first walk in there, it tells you oh pull this switch. Did you pull the switch? I pull all the switches. Yeah. And you never knew what the fuck was going to happen. And the enemies that they introduce you to at that part in particular... The Clockwork Soldiers. Clockwork Soldiers are very difficult. Yeah, they're, you probably, they're, the, hardest, they're the hardest... They're to very... Defeat. Two shots. I'm, I'm two shot right now. Yeah, they yeah, get me. Yeah. So, you don't know if you pull that thing if it's going to all of a sudden turn around and here's a... The good news is if, you're, if you are stealthy, they do not wake up. 
So you can walk right by them as long yeah. as you're not running or walking. I just stopped time. You could. Or you could just I don't think Justin did that. I beat the shit out of yeah. him. <laughs> the block is actually very helpful. Surprisingly good. He has four swords. I'm holding up one and just like, bing, got ya. Okay, attack. <laughs> so I've managed to, uh, yeah, I mean, two on one, it's pretty impossible. So, But you never know when you pull those switches what the fuck was going to happen. But it was very cool to see how, oh, this is a four-year of his house. And you pull it, and all of a sudden now it's like a piano comes up or it his, transforms. So his bedroom movie. transforms around. No, his to bedroom, like a, I was about to say, is a fucking pimp as hell. Yeah, it's like there's a, bath, a bathroom. Switches over. So the bed, his through. entire house is does this. So um, you you're constantly changing the level, and I don't know. I'm sure you've only played it once. Played through it once. Yeah. Okay, so there is so many different ways that you can go about doing this. You can get to him without him ever knowing you're in that house. Yeah, without ever touching like uh, pressure touching, plates on the floor. Touching plates, the switches, you don't have to do any of that. You can go behind the walls. Yeah, I was where there. Yeah, where he's like, oh, the area behind the walls. This is fascinating. And he doesn't even know. Yeah, and he, I literally, so when I played my stealth through without being seen, he's you can't be seen by him. So I had to find a way to do that. And that took a little while to figure out how to get there without pulling any switches. And uh, Insane. Yeah, it's... It's really, really good. Um, how Have you finished the... So I beat that, yeah. Okay. Uh, I do like that this guy was like, fuck that. I'm not going to make a bunch of rooms for all my shit. It's like <laughs> all my rooms are just going to be turning into room. all my shit. Yeah. I thought that was pretty clever of him. So he was a cool <laughs> bad guy. I actually have done the alternate kill, I think, on all the targets so far. So I think all my targets live. You, you kept them alive. You did the electrocution on I did the electrocution on him to brainwash him. I feel like it's they're usually more evil in the long run, actually. If you Like this one, for example, he's the genius, and you wiped his brain and made him an idiot. Yeah, like, so that's now much worse than killing him. Yeah, now so he's now he imbecile. doesn't have his brain anymore, so he's just... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert's yeah. huge, actually. If you, get, yeah. if you get, like, later on... Like, but I feel like... Yeah. I feel like I'm being more of a dick... <laughs> by not the killing them? saving them, yeah. Yeah. So I just got into the next mission, which is like I I didn't play any further. I heard the opening like cutscene after you know they put yeah. you back to the boat after every mission. It's like your home base. One thing um, I think is really cool after each mission, your desk picks up a little trinket <clears throat> if you collect yeah. it in that in that map. You can miss it. Oh, one. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So so in the first in mission three, the good doctor, when you're in the um, you get the you get the um, the needle the yeah, injection I have needle. Um, and then Jindosh, forward, you, you can, get you get the skull if you skull. kill kill one of them you get the clockwork skull. Um, Nailed it. So <laughs> there are a lot of things. That's a that's I didn't a know that. I thought you just get got it. it. Oh, I thought you just got it for completing the mission. No, you have to like yeah. Oh well, I think I'm good. I think I'm four for four. There you go. We'll talk off air. Yeah. On our I feel like I'm very big. But uh. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Anything else? Um yeah, actually it's weird. I played this game because Gary and I, this week, were talking about a game that he played, so kind of a little foreshadowing for you, listener, but I played Mass Effect 3 from my Xbox 360. Nice. Um, Why 3? 3 just because it was the newest one, and I was just wanted to get the refresher of the latest thing that they had to offer me to kind of, because the new one's coming out soon, right? March. Yeah, March. March. Yeah. Busy month. Busy month, a lot of shit going down in March. I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyways, I think Mass Effect is probably the most popular thing. Yeah, I believe. I second that. Yeah. Uh, So yeah, I just wanted to get back to the hang of it. I know it was an awesome game. I haven't played in a long time, and I rearranged my console situation. So now I have the Xbox One, the PlayStation Four, and the Xbox 360 all plugged in. So they're more easily available. So I just found myself playing it more. Uh, did you start over? What are you doing? Start over. I did the adept, which I've never done before. I think that's it's like push, pull, and the force s- power. Yeah, yeah, it's like the force powers basically. Because mm-hmm. the last time I did engineer, so yeah. I will say that the RPG elements of this game are still crazy awesome. The the map that they have to go around and save everybody. Before. But one thing Gary and I were talking about, I mean was some of the stuff does not hold up very well. Like, so if you want... Okay. Like, let's transition so, to Gary okay. real quick. <laughs> so I played Mass Effect 2 this week. I got it on PC, and I've been playing with it, and it... I was telling Justin, it doesn't hold up. 
the game, I'm very shocked. Like, so when I was playing through it, like, the first mission or so, like, graphically, it kind of looks like dog shit. <laughs> and gameplay-wise, it's pretty hard to play. Um, and it's not what I remember. Because it's using mouse and keyboard? Using mouse and keyboard, we yes. Got we got <laughs> but it just wasn't there. So it I was, was very strange. And then, like, the... <clears throat> we'll say just the voice acting, everything about it just felt dated to me as I'm playing it. And I'm still playing it. It's not going to stop me from playing it because the story is fucking amazing. Um, and it's not to say the game is not fun, not fun really. it's just... or it's not the best Mass Effect. Um, but it's just, <laughs> to me, it's one of those games that as the newer games come up and as new games come out now, we've become more spoiled in the little things. Yep. We are nitpicking to hell with these these games. And these games are fucking amazing nowadays. You go 10 years ago, Mass Effect 2, we praise as being one of the best games ever. <laughs> it's actually and, kind of a turn. <laughs> and it's kind of shitty. In big categories that well, we... You also, yeah, yeah. you also have to remember that's just the time frame. Like, you know, five years ago, we would have been like, oh, the original Xbox games, those were incredible. And then you go back and play some of them, you're like, oh. But it's like, weird. I love Stranger's Wrath, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. When was the last time you played that? Oh, God. Because it... Oh, I mean, it's painful. Just, yeah, it's now. the same thing, like, Red Dead Redemption, right? It became backwards compatible, mm -hmm. and it was like, I'm not even going to play that again. Because mm -hmm. my memories of that game are so good... You don't want to... That I don't want to fuck with it. Yep. But with Mass Effect Andromeda coming out, I was very interested in playing through my favorite Mass Effect um, again. And I'm pick I picked a Vanguard again. Mm -hmm. I'm always Vanguard when I play Mass Effect. And it's just, it's funny playing through it again. Like, I've gone through it, so I've got Garrus. Is it Garrus? Yeah. Um, On Omega. I'm Doing being a complete asshole renegade. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Punch like, it. that's the best part about Mass Effect is... The renegade system and being Paragon, nice and, yeah. and Paragon and it's just so funny to be an asshole. <laughs> it is so funny in that game because it's so blatant and so in your face that it's hilarious. And some of the stuff that I noticed, because so I was interested, he mentioned that and I was like, what blasphemy? And I put in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> 30. Like, no, first I put in Mass Effect oh, 2 okay. on my Xbox 360 to look at it. And it's weird because... Some things look really good. It's like a texture thing. You yeah, know? well, I mean, it's a Bioware game. So. Yeah, so it's just so weird of what stuff is very nice textured and what stuff just isn't. It feels very empty. Yeah. It feels like every room you go into is the same room. Like, there's no nothing, like, where there would be a wall of, like, monitors or screens or you're in some sort of, like, futuristic, futuristic, yeah. Yeah. futuristic place. There's just a blank like wall, yeah. and it's like the color palette is very gray and gray and dark like blue, yeah. yeah. And so it's not green. very nice looking. And I'm playing, I'm trying to play on like ultra settings and trying to max it out as ultra possible. gray. <laughs> and it's like ultra gray. <laughs> exactly. There's not much going on there, but I'm not trying to shut down the game. But doesn't crazy. Hold up. It doesn't, it just hold doesn't up. like hold it, up. it doesn't hold it's up. It's weird that we're at the point where Mass Effect Two you really can't play it. It's almost like yeah. it's getting to the age of unplayable which well, is a weird age we're getting old that's what's yeah happening. yeah i know it's, it's crazy. fucking crazy but the one thing that makes me excited for it is i want to play and keep playing through mass effect 2 so that way when mass effect andromeda comes out it's gonna fucking blow my mind yeah it's gonna blow my one mind one thing i'm I super excited i will say that. about three is that they definitely filled the rooms better so they took <laughs> that's good. that what about the grips the grays are still pretty great they definitely tried to spice it up with the colors but i will say I'm honestly Honestly, in the controls, we're talking floaty and we're talking wonky. We really are, dude. You hit that cover and you're like, yeah. you slide past it a little bit. Yeah. You're getting drilled in with bullets from the side. Mm -hmm. It's when you, my problem right now is when you press the sprint button and, and you're running and the straight, camera, and then you want to turn right. The camera doesn't like move. it's like kind of like a long <laughs> turn <laughs> as you're going, or you have to stop running, turn, turn and, and then, then run again. It's very strange. Sprinting's, very wonky. Sprinting's pretty tough for me right now. Yeah, yeah. very wonky. Because I'm running through it. I know 
everything I'm doing. I'm not trying to do any side missions. No. I got it on easy mode. I'm, yeah. I'm like burning through. So I'm sprinting and the camera's not turning. If you take your finger off to turn the camera, you stop sprinting. Mm-hmm. So you're doing like the, the claw move to like yeah. run down the corner. <laughs> like so it, it's the long it. run. So it's I like picked, the I picked the girl and her body frame, they don't let you alter the body frame at all, is so weird. She's got like big broad shoulders, super skinny arms. So she's like a T, but it's almost like her elbows are in almost. She's got a little tiny waist, huge hips. And she just looks like this weird block. <laughs> it's so weird. It's super weird. Yeah, I picked uh, my customization of the character. I changed him to like one of the, the weirder faces. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just so weird because as I played through like Mass Effect one, two, and three, I played as normal. Deep yeah, like Shepard. yeah. But this one, I was like, I don't want to fuck around with it. I think you said you played as you know. I've always played the Asian guy. Yeah. yeah. Which Asian I can Shepard. imagine. Yeah. I always, I always thought so. Like, I thought it was always weird that you could customize your shepherd only because it was like such a specific character. Yeah. It that like, I was like, this is, guy. this is no, this is Commander Shepherd. This is what they wanted him to look like, and they told this very unique story. Mm-hmm. And it's weird that you can just customize well, that one in guy. There, I, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it's wrong. No, I think you are. Weird. I always, weird. you always want to pick the shepherd because well, he looks better. The, he he looks like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Yeah, and I, and I completely forgot that Shepard died at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Like, completely forgot that. Well, I mean, the game's 10 years old. Yeah, yeah. well, Shut that's up. your bad. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's your own fault. Yeah, yeah. spoiler well, alert, it's yeah. unplayable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert, just get Andromeda, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. new story. But, um, Justin, Perfect. do you have anything else, or should we just transfer over to Gary? Transition to Gary? Yeah, right? I think we'll just transfer it right on over. We're going to transition yeah. inside Gary? Go right on in there, buddy. All right. So I played a couple different games this week, Brian. What games I got? Okay. So I played Mass Effect 2, obviously. Yeah, yeah we just talked about, about that. Basically. Um, the new game that I played this week was called The Butterfly Sign, um, which was a game that I picked up of Steam. Probably cents. Cents. like 20 cents. Yeah. And I was just like, this game actually looks really cool. Um, and try it out, and it runs in the Unreal Engine 4. So it looks fucking great. Game looks awesome. It's a first person um, game. You don't really do much. Like in the most game. games nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's trying to tell a story and it's like a detective game. So you're trying to so you're you have to find clues like and you're putting things together. So basically the story is Virginia. <laughs> So the story is you wake up just strapped to like a bison. <laughs> so you're strapped to a bison? Yeah. Oh Jesus. So you're strapped down to like this table and there's some guy talking to you and apparently there is this insane asylum that you're in or a part of it's running late. and um, everybody died. Somebody killed everybody in the asylum. You playing until dawn? Might be. I mean, it it seems weird. It's just you and this guy talking to each other. Yeah, so basically, he said it's all about because they were doing experiments on the inmates or patients patients that were there um, with this drug called Ram Ram Brex. Ram Brex. Ram Rod. Ram Rod. Rod. Yeah. Um, It sounds like you want to do that right before you go to the club. You'll get me some Ram X. Yeah. So, and they're trying to tell this detailed story of, you know, why they're trying to create this Ram Brex. But what happens? Something, something happens to the drug that becomes too powerful, and so then they wipe everybody out in this building. Now this guy's telling you that you like potentially broke in there, or you were there when it happened, but he doesn't know why. So he literally pumps you with the drug, and the game takes place in your mind, and the guy is talking to you. So you go back into this guy's mind in his dream. So it's kind of like if forget it. The movie The Cell with uh, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I know. about? I don't really. No one knows. I know. I know yeah. the movie. You're yeah, she goes with the mind of the serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah. So it reminds me of that. Okay. It's, not, it's not fucking crazy like that. It's not like Jennifer Lopez. I mean, I'm all about that. Yeah. You it's a good flick. It. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. The Cell. Want to watch? Check it out. I will. Yeah. Um, so the whole game takes place inside this guy's mind, and while you're in your mind, you're walking through, and you're going through the mountains and leading up to the asylum, this guy's talking to you and trying to walk you through and saying, okay, what are you seeing right now? What are you doing right now? And you're walking through, and then you get to the asylum, 
then you have to figure out how to turn on this elevator to sneak in and you're following the footsteps of your past is what's happening. Um, to get into certain locations, you have to do like a puzzle. Um, okay. The puzzle is very similar to, okay, you have this point here, you have to get to this point, and we only give you these certain angles to get through. Like a pipe, like a pipe filler. Exactly, like the Bioshock. The Bioshock yeah. pipes mm -hmm. where the water go through. So, very similar to that, and they take away squares to make it more difficult. It's hard as hell. It, like, literally, there's only one way to do it. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, like, one puzzle took me, like, 20 minutes. Which is, Noob. I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, no good time for that. So the other thing that was interesting is once you get into the asylum, it opens up a little area where it blocks you off, but you have to tells you you have to find like eight clues to proceed into the story. Um, so then like, well, for instance, the first room I go into, uh, there's a body on the ground, and you can't just click on the body and say because once you click on a clue. It asks you, it gives you like three or four different options, and you have to pick which one it is based off of your investigator. You so know, if you click mind, on it too fast, you miss something. You have to say what happened. Oh, okay. And if you miss what happened, then it starts to desynchronize you, mm -hmm. and if you miss too much, then you lose. Okay. So you have to put the pieces to the puzzle together before you start telling how things are going to happen. Yeah. yeah, similar. Similar to something like Ace Attorney or um, anyone who's had played The Wolf Among Us here. No, no. Yeah. So you basically you play a detective and you gotta sync clues together and catch people in lies. Yeah. But yeah. You... So like the first room I walked into, there's a dead body in the ground. Or there was a Lawrence. fire extinguisher under. It was in a bathroom. Good one. There was a uh, fire extinguisher in the bathroom with like a bullet hole in it. But then there was a clue by the sink and there was a clue on the ground next to the body. There was a clue on the clothes and the fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. and what happened here? So there was a guy that was hidden with a gun and an assault rifle shot the guy dead there. I mean, Damn. kind of bing bang boom. I figured yeah. it out in two seconds. It. Um, but the other thing is, is like, there's no like jump scares, but the game is creepy. Mm -hmm. So you're just waiting just, for it. It's yeah. just the music. And then the funny thing is, it, it's pretty comical. <coughs> where you walk around the asylum, they show you shadows like on the wall, but it looks like shadows like at an amusement park. You know what I mean? Like if you're yeah, like, everybody's having fun. Or like a no. like a. It looks like a mechanical yeah. like just oh. shadow like just on the wall oh. like Peter Pan oh. style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not really creepy. It's just kind of funny. So like when I see a shadow, I'm just I'm not sketched out by the game, but it is creepy. It takes place in an insane asylum mm -hmm. and shit happened and there's dead yeah, bodies it's around. Insane. Shit. And so um, somebody's out there. Yeah. So you're putting shit together and you're trying to figure out what happened there. And so I progressed through the story, a couple different chapters. I don't know how long the game is. Um, but it's interesting and like there's certain things like there will be laptops or computers around the asylum that you can log into but then there's a password that you have to get so you literally have to go through like find one find a file with a room. with a password get on it and when you because I'm playing it on a PC when you log into the computer it you literally just, is a window screen mm -hmm. and you can go through the person's emails <clears throat> they'll say their files were all just deleted or you know trash and so it, you can browse the internet. Yeah. Like I went to barstoolsports.com. That's cool. Through the computer, through the game. Um, so it was interesting how they did it. But the game looks cool. It's interesting. But I haven't really, I haven't seen any enemies. I haven't died. But it's just kind of like one of those games that it's kind of a filler. My brain was kind of in a pretzel um, at certain points. It's kind of a puzzle game. So interesting. Very nice. I don't know. I what love I pretzels. Of yeah. For sure. Um, so I played Mass Effect 2. I played Butterfly Sign. Last game I'll talk about is Overwatch. <laughs> yeah. Steve, God, Steve. God, Mike, at this point, it's just not like, even just like light some Overwatch. Or, or, uh... I'm talking about Overwatch, Steve. <laughs> you ready not, for this? He's not stopping you. You ready for this? Go for it. All right. Overwatch. Thank you, Steve. Um, so, yeah, I actually... Ranked up to level 30, and I'm ranked on PC. Oh, congratulations. You Thank you. Um, so I'm ranked. What took you so long? You have right. to rank all the way up to 25. To I had no idea how works. I was just explaining just it. Keep, telling you. keep asking him what took so long. Um, so I will ready. say that I'm not surprised by my rank, and or um, I'm still ranked higher than Justin. <laughs> so I ranked in gold. Um, which was around 2100-ish. Mm -hmm. um, so on the lower end of gold, which is fine because I'm still learning how to play PC. 
I still can't really, <coughs> with the mouse and keyboard, play a lot of the attack characters. So literally, I think my most played character so far is Anna um, that I've just been supporting the team. And it's, mm-hmm. it's hard at that level because you got players that don't know what they're doing and they're just killing, not killing <coughs> shit. And, and I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to do these things. So I'm figuring out PC, but I am ranked. I'm in gold. I think it's a good start, and you know I'm excited. Now that I don't even have an Xbox, I can just Great. really focus so on PC yeah. Overwatch <laughs> right at the moment. So, and I did play some of the PTR. Okay, nice. Uh, so, you see any Roadhog hooks? So yeah, so Roadhog has been nerfed. Um, right. Which, yeah, I think it's good. I think the tank meta that they have right now is pretty much dead. Yeah, because what I agree. Like, people were running what like two or three yep. tanks. It three was tanks, three, or three, it was four three, tanks, right? three tanks, sometimes four. Um, but now that Roadhog's hook has been nerfed like really bad. Um, in Diva, they switched the health. Yeah, and the armor. armor. So she used to have, I think it was 200 health and 400 armor. Mm-hmm. Now she has 400 health, 200 armor. And for those of you that don't know, armor regenerates, so she can no longer regenerate 400. She can only regenerate 200. Yeah, so Diva gets melted. Melted. So it, she's pretty much non She also does uh, 20, 22. Two damage per shot mm-hmm. instead of 24 damage per yeah, shot. Yeah, so now. they brought it down a little bit. Um, I agree though. She they kept buffing her. Yeah. And I think they need to bring her back a little bit, but it's gonna make her pretty non-existent. Hashtag um, nerf this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you> see. <laughs> um, Get it. I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll allow it. Yeah, Roadhog is a big one though. Um, they really nerfed his hook. It's hard though. The hook is hard to figure out. Um, it, from I'm guessing from a gameplay standpoint, like it's got to be hard to kind of put together because you're throwing this thing out there and it's trying to find something to grab onto and then bring that something. And to then you're thinking out. connections and everything. Like I was behind the wall. I wasn't behind. The, it's it's a mess. I'm sure it's a mess and they're tearing their hair out for it, but. Um, you have to remember they have to go in and every little corner that's in that game from now they have to make sure like if there's any clipping with Roadhog's yeah, hook they have to, to like that one point sort of... they then have to go okay the hook comes off yeah and I'm sure it's a fucking it is I'm sure it's a nightmare it's a nightmare and he's a tough character to figure out for them so but they're still fucking around with it which is cool and it's cool that I get to play on the PTR now very and, nice find us that best. Valentine's Day uh yeah, I'll I'll do some uh, coding. Yeah, thanks. And I'll I'll see how many teraflops they got in the new up, update coming out. Yeah. For Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the problem about people nuking the game, and Overwatch saying that they're gonna ban players who are doing it? It's just like I guess they're DDoSing it and making it unplayable. I didn't hear about that. But I read that today. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, like, people are. People are just they're flooding. A, that's what servers, DDoS is, right? Yeah. They flood they the server. flood servers. Yeah. yeah, and it was becoming um, slowing down, and players couldn't play it. And the players were also having a problem reporting it, which was making it like super frustrating because of the DDoSing. Mm. And then Overwatch realized it, and they said that they're gonna. Blizzard's pretty good at taking yeah, care of that shit. So they're gonna fuck these dudes up if they catch them. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> but I was guessing that's probably PC stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So probably. watch yeah. out for the nuke. Yeah. It's coming for you. <laughs> Play my Xbox all way. <laughs> Can't because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm gonna go to Anthony. Fair enough. That was quick. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, I played Good luck. a few new games. Thank you. A few new games this week. Uh, we'll start off with the major one, which was Let It Die. Okay. So this oh, is the blood. How, 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 how is this game? Uh, where'd you get? It? It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. Yeah. So you can download it. Um. Decided be careful with the is continues, it, by the way. So, let me ask you this. Is it worth me dusting off the PlayStation, taking it out of the closet, and plugging and it in? And risking spills. Risking <laughs> a spill that could end my PS4. Look, if you're going to dust it off, pop in the Dark Souls disc. All right? Um, okay, so this game is shit. You don't have to It's it. not complete shit. <laughs> it's just like a piece it's of shit, like half shit that shit. fell off yes. when you accidentally clinched. It's a rosebud. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. But as a visual, I did not. Yeah, well, welcome. welcome it, uh, where we're at. 
it's the story, the premise of the story is like it's the future and like mankind has pretty much solidified itself in this one tower to like get to the top of what they call like heaven. Mm -hmm. So it's in Tokyo, which where it's located. And of course. you start as a mechanic, you're riding on a train into this like main hub and you're a mechanical being, like you're hooked up to the cables and you get there and then Death comes on like a skateboard <laughs> and, and kind of like he tell it. He so, like, hey, Brills had this gnarly 360 earlier. By the way, you're dead. He has a Mexican accent. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. I'm not I heard the it. scene. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy and like, stuff like that. Like the, the personnel are pretty funny. The voice acting's really good. Um, the way they kind of do it, it's a game within a game type deal. Mm -hmm. So it's like Inception. Kind of like, so when you die, you get pulled out of like the game and then he tells you like hey like hey bro like you want to play again and then you're like all right we'll, we'll give it another go Mahalo. but you start off at floor one of this tower and it's pretty much an escalator at first I and mean, you hit it's you're climbing to the top again before and it's not as difficult as dark souls uh, they give you, you don't have any continues so the first time you die he gives you like a little health insurance card like we'll give you the first one for free the most difficult part of this game is every person who had previously died at that level is now a person you have to fight. I like that. So they're it's called cool. haters. Yeah. The problem, they're called haters? The problem with this is when someone at a really, really high level just has to be a dickhead. And like your let level. himself die. Yeah. So like this level 37 is just sitting at the first floor and I'm level one. And every time you walk by, like, he just fucks you up. <laughs> oh, wow. You already got so, trolled right off the bat. Yeah, okay, so it's it's actual other players no, that, that, have, that have died. It, so I thought it was just your, your death. Characters. Your death also. So you'll fight yourself. Yeah, but it's but also, it's other, also other people. So he sat it. there and let himself die just he, he to leave have, that there for you guys. He may have just, he may, like, may not. He may have actually died because you can still, I mean. Do you keep I your level you. once you die? Yes, but I've only I've used continues because I got the first one for free. I've only died three times. From um, this motherfucker. Once you have to die, and then twice from that guy. Uh, I got lucky. <laughs> How far have you gotten in this? Level four. Okay, so, so I have you a, got past him. <clears throat> yes, I did. I have How? a few friends that are playing this game as well, and they they tell me that once your character dies, they're dead, and you leave them there, and you have to start over with a new character. And that character is still there, Can but fight? you slowly start base building, and I guess the bottom <coughs> floor is, is like your your base, and you have to leave some of your people down there to defend, and other people can then come into your game and attack you there. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of play this balancing act of, all right, so this is one of my, like, it, it's like basically leaving some of your really good Pokemon down to defend, but if you if he kills those people, those people are then dead, and he takes all of your gold or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then those Pokemon are dead. Those and you're like pesky fuck. pirates. I haven't tested because they give you the two bodies to do it. But like I said, I got lucky because I opened one of the boxes. They give you like loot boxes or loot crates, mm -hmm. and the first one I opened had like a ten pack of continues. Oh, there you go. So okay. I got lucky. He killed me twice. I was like, I don't want to start over again. So mm -hmm. I'll just use the two. And you pretty much run to the elevator because that's how. Just you fuck that guy. When you hit the flip the switch on the elevator, you can then get back to that floor. So, like, I waited. He killed me. I sat there and waited around the corner, like, so that way he was gone. Used to continue and went back into the elevator. So, is the gameplay like Dark Souls? What, like, how does it, how's the gameplay? Yeah, how does it play? What does it look like? It's not, it's slower than Dark Souls. The controls are a little bit clunkier. Dark Souls had a fluid motion. Like, it was very... Yeah, just you need to elaborate. Yeah, yeah actually, if you use, hit square a bunch, he'll swing the sword. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Accurately. Well, dark so <laughs> it is it is very similar to Dark Souls where it's 3D and is it like pretty nice slow, and shining methodic, armor? What kind of what kind of people are we fighting? No, it's they're like they're you pretty much. They're like zombies. They're, uh Bioshock S, so like giant like machines. Yeah, I think Justin is envisioning a completely different game. Yeah. He just asked if there's knights in shining armor yeah. well, like, climbing like the tower. It's hard. With an elevator. He does that with Dark well, Souls. Know, one guy had a skateboard. I wasn't sure what the fuck. Dude, that's pretty sick, though. He's pretty badass. Or, I mean, he, so are you I enjoying mean, it, or are you just kind of like... Having, I'm having fun, but like the, none of the enemies were difficult. Okay. Like, it's all the people that have been kind of... And it's like the slow back and forth between... So them. what if you play this game offline? I've played it all. It's been all been off. They've just started. The online one started, uh, I think, Wednesday when I was playing. So 
if you're playing offline, do other people? How is other people in the game? They just give you the death of where someone else had died. No, but, but I mean like they're yeah. not actual people. People playing them. It's the computer controlling your level twenty five. NPC. Yeah, it's no. Yeah, I get that, oh. but if, I'm saying like, how does it know that this person died in this area? If you, if you turned off your Wi-Fi, if he was line, never online for the update, mm. it probably wouldn't have saved it. So yeah, yeah. That's I'm, saying, I'm still online, online. It's just people can't invade. It's not like Dark Souls where like people go in. I'm just asking if there's an offline mode where I don't have to deal with that bullshit. I've you could probably it. just not turn on yeah. your internet connection and still play the game. Like download it. But I'm wondering if it 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 probably I'm wondering if if it would download it while you're, you know, let's say you're playing it and then you go to turn it off, but it still has the ones that it had downloaded before. What you download? That's your homework week. for the week, Gary. Test that Figure out. Figure it out. Test it out. See what's Shit. going down. Yeah. All right. Key to self. Yeah. Don't uh, spill on my PS4. <laughs> yeah. You want them to live. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, is that they use mushrooms as a way of health. Who doesn't? So <laughs> you could use, you can go to lady and cook them, or you can throw them. So Mario does. I mean, he made a fucking killing off of it. Works for him. Yeah. Um, does the same thing. You collect blueprints. It's a lot like it's like Sunset Overdrive kind of meets Dark Souls, but the difficulty isn't there. Okay. Uh, I did not find. Like I said, died three times. Two of them were from you know this, just this guy who's way high level. Yeah, he was trolling. Is there bosses? Yes. So I beat the first boss. Okay. Um, Compare it to Dark Souls, like what is, how is the boss? Like was it? Was it like easy? a cartoon? Like, Ooh, what? I beat it first try. So that's first nothing try. like Dark Souls. Nothing. Uh, it was it's close. The boss. thing is, like your weapons break a lot easier. So like when you pick something up. I fucking hate that. I'm not gonna play this game. Like break extreme, but the benefit of this is if their weapons also break the enemies. So as they're chasing you, like yeah, you on your just face, run around. Well, <laughs> cool if you can dodge. <laughs> So they're like smacking it off the ground. So if they miss and hit the ground, it's deteriorating. Or they hit another enemy, like you can just keep walking in circles. And oh, all of a sudden they have break. no sword, and you're like, "What's up?" And bitch? then you just punch them out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> I'll probably play a little bit more of it, see if I can get slightly higher. How many uh, levels? I have no clue. I don't. Know. I have a buddy that's on like level thirty something right now. Like he's reached the thirty something level so way, yeah. Yeah, floor. Whatever. Cool. So. But uh, anything else you play? I know I know you have other games. I uh, no, that'll be it for Let It Die. I said next week. Yeah, you just Let It Die. <laughs> Leave it there. Um, the next game I did play was a uh, Hyper Light Drifter. So I only know that? that this is it's very neon, very 80s, and it's 2D. Well, is that just from the title? Or you've seen that? That? No, I've seen videos okay. of it. It's and, a pixel art. Yeah. Uh, like very vibrant colors, hack and slash. Hmm. Um, no, uh, everything's done with pictures. There's no like dialogue really. So it's like a comic book like type of cutscene thing. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. Like they want you to fight a boss, they'll just flash like the picture, like what he looks like, and then it pinpoints. Is there any text or is it just pictures? Just pictures. That's no dope. text that I've seen still yet. Um, not much of the story. All you see is like the giant main mechanical guy of the city. He's like an all black monster, just wipe out an entire city. You hate that? Who wouldn't? Um, you get rescued by some random guy in a different like kind of world. Thank God. And you're off to so pretty much. So save this everything. hack and slash is a top down kind of like uh, Zelda like Link to the Past type of thing. Yeah, like midway like. Okay. So. So kind of more like Bastion. What are you playing this on? This is so on. You never played Bastion, bro. Uh, yes, you never played Bastion. I got Bastion. Have you played it though? Yeah. No. I yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so but I got it. One. You got it. Yeah. I can't play it anymore. Yeah. So <laughs> shit. I got that on Steam, boy. <laughs> He's got it somewhere. He'll find it. But uh, no, so, uh, what? So it, when you say hack and slash, is it more like a top-down <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, like High Rule Warriors type of thing, or is it more? I mean, it's hack and slash. You hit. Yeah, you know, God of War. Is it like Shadow Warriors? Yeah. Attack and Didn't slash. Shadow Warriors. Well, I'm I'm just looking uh, more to. Is it more like Dark Souls esque and like? It's it's actually Dark Souls because the difficulty of this game was actually probably harder than when to die. Okay. To so honest, it's, it's not like a Devil May Cry where you can just like smash the button and kind of get no, through. No, you have, have to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The enemies are a lot more coordinated than. Is there like a counter button or is it dodge only? Dodge or he, parry. He teleports kind of. Oh, All you have is dodge and then. They give you the difference between the sword, which is like a lightsaber, and you pick up multiple like guns at the same Can time. Can you change color of all your sweet neon 
pixels or what? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay. Not that we get, but there are multiple. We get that purple stores. lightsaber was always like. That's me. It's one news. Don't yeah. touch that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Snakes on this fucking. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Lord. But uh, very, like, Secret of Mana as type mm -hmm. RPG. You don't actually level up, but like I said, the only thing you can kind of upgrade is your weapons. Uh, like I said, difficulty is, I thought it was harder than Let It Die, because mm -hmm. the enemies have more of a pattern to them, and it crowds kind of more of the room. So they're like birds that shoot lasers, kind of, but they're, they're timed. So you can time it. So you, have to, there. you have to kind of perfectly time which enemy to hit, teleport, hit the other, and then... And then deal with the guts. So it's almost words. a puzzle game in and itself, trying to figure it out, similar to like a punch-out, where you have to figure out how they attack and then mm -hmm. counter that attack. How much fun do you have in yeah. this game? You like in this game, or is it just like... Yeah, oh, so we're getting, like, we're getting like very more of it. Because if you, we don't, you don't want to hype it up, it sounds kind of cool right now, but is it kind of cool, or is it, it just one, like... What best indie, it's the one best indie game. Did it? No, oh, I, I haven't heard of it. Um, the art is really cool, the hack and such. Like I so said, difficulty-wise, it's been out there. It's been fun. How you much does it cost? 20 bucks. I'll beat it. Yeah. Um, I'm very interested in kind of the story of it. You know no, dude, I, I just love how you sound like... You sound... Like you're in look, so like you have no emotion, but you're like, yeah, it was really fantastic. I love playing It was probably the best experience I've ever had. Hell yeah. I'll beat it. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to play it. Twice. I love it. Basically. <laughs> yeah, moving, on. moving on. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I will I will go on to beat it. Good. I found it very interesting. But we'll move on from that. Uh go to we'll say everyone's gone to the rapture first. Okay. Ha, okay, so I played this. It's a Ryan first person like very like me and no way. I'm not liking it. I finished it. it. Yeah, I finished it. It's a weird it's a weird It's visually game. impressive. I guess. Did you uh, like it? Not really. Okay. okay. And how much did you pay for it? It's free. Thank it was God. actually free for PlayStation Plus a while ago. Yeah. Uh, that's more like Brian September. And I was it. waiting. No, I bought it when it first came oh, out. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the hype train behind that game? No. no. Oh, that's not. I was thinking. Whenever there's a hype train, yeah. we have to use that. Usually, everything always lives up to expectations. Always. <laughs> but um. So, uh, have you beaten it? No, I'm at the end. I'm at Steven's, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Where, like, the white, he tells you the story, I guess, for, of, like, how the white, he's separated from the girl, like, they're married, and then he goes one direction, he's like, we gotta leave the city. She's like, no, we gotta find out what this is, and then you're just like, well, what the fuck am I doing? Good luck. Yeah. Um, not much to do in this game besides... So, it's basically, it's an, an abandoned, like, town that you just walk around the entire time and everyone went to rapture basically yeah but it's hard to you. figure it out it's like the leftovers the tv show everyone's gone Except what happened to it? let's figure it out let's walk around look at that clues mm -hmm. walk around look at that clues nobody in the game we're good moving on good night dear esther same same concept <laughs> on an island Perfect. Right. Very story driven kind of game. No, Didn't it, play that one. Except for the end, which is like the weirdest thing. Did ever. you beat Dear Esther? Yeah. Because, like, he's on the island. I, I know the story of this one. Like, his wife was killed in a car crash, and he's back at the island of, like, where it happened. And then he climbs up the top the of, this, island. of this tower. I don't know. He was drunk. I didn't know who. But he climbs to the top of this tower, and, like, he jumps off. And you're like, did he just kill himself? And then, like, all of a sudden, he, like, turned into a bird. And I was just like, okay, this fucking... That's how you weird. Yeah, I was like, I don't know where this went. Yeah. Okay, are you alright, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> alright. I love how he just has to... How get the cars onto the island? <laughs> they could have built them there. That could legit. Hawaii's got plenty of cars. <laughs> sorry. Same concept. Sorry. Oh, so, God. Uh, yeah. What are we talking about? Video uh, games? Yeah. I think that was it. That was it? Are we... Yeah. Oh, you gotta pass it. Yeah. You got one more schlep. So, yeah. I mean, unless you have anything else, I'm just gonna take no, it. No, like it sounds like you're ecstatic. Yeah, yeah. 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 you so. are, honestly, your energy right now is through the roof. <laughs> we need to calm you down. You need to take yeah. a five minute. Relax. Just, break. Break. just, just sit there and take a five. Yeah. Yeah. And Brian, so, um, besides Overwatch, I continue to play Forza Horizon 3. Um, I was at a friend's house this week and he was playing that. He said it was the best driving game he's ever played. Um, 
Uh, are you being sarcastic being and that serious. was me? Or? No, I'm being okay. serious. Me, it's my friend Jake. Yeah, it's a really great racing game. Um, I've had a great time playing it, um, but I recently got to the point where it's like, oh, okay, let's expand the festivals. Um, and so you can choose one or two things. So the first one I did was Outback. Let's do that. Great. And then the second one, I was like, you can go do, it, it's more of like a beach type thing, I think. And then it was like city landscape. Which the city landscape was the first, you had the option in the beginning to yeah. do that as well. So the first. So it has to happen eventually. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, let me just do the city landscape because I don't want to end on the city landscape. That's going to be shitty. And so I'm playing through the city landscape right now and it's awful. It's just like, a, I'm just crawling my way through it and it's just like, like hey, tall buildings like yeah sweet. it's just the same at tight corners and it's like ah, the speed this, yeah and this and that's not it because if you miss that turn like you're still driving dirt, yeah <laughs> you're still just taking that wide yeah. turn yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so i mean it's just it's right. more yeah it's just more where katie went in free when you're playing this game it's very burnout Ask mm -hmm. when you're playing it in the open. open, but when you're playing it in these narrow streets, it's like I'm just playing a Need for Speed or another game, another and racing another game that just that like would, I would play. never play. Um, so I'm really having a difficult time Chugging getting through, through that right now. So every once in a while, I'll well, pop it in. People out there, if you don't like that kind of stuff, you might want to do that first, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty bad. Um, there is, I didn't mention this last week, but if you are in a race, and so the way that you level up, you get fans by doing stylish things or by coming in first, so you got to balance that of, like, you don't have to come in first. But you got to get points. But you got to get points, so, like, if you're drifting or drafting behind somebody or doing a, a bunch of damage to, like, yeah. the city or whatever, you get points. But then um, if you are in second place and you're trying to get to first and you miss a turn pretty badly and you know that you're no longer going to be in first like you're going to drop back to fourth you're going to drop out to fourth or to like sixth yeah um you can hit the triangle button or y i'm assuming on oh no it's xbox sorry so it, you just hit y and you reverse time you go back in time um you know five seconds and then if you don't like where it puts you you hit y again it brings you back another five seconds so you can kind of back you get like a like a mulligan the whole straight up mulligan straight up mulligan but then you lose all of your points mm -hmm. so it's like okay i t-boned and i'm going to come in six now instead of second but is that did do i do i only have a thousand yeah. points or do i have twenty thousand yeah points? and like how what's the difference there so a lot of the times i'll like if I finish in third or fourth, but I know that I did r like a really good race, but I just fucked up this one spot. All right, fine. Like I'll take that hit. Yeah. Um. So I find that to be a pretty interesting mechanic. I'm gonna try and continue to play it. Um. But the city landscape is just terrible. You get any sweet fucking cars, dude? Yeah. You get so some of the cooler things is it's like hey, there's an abandoned barn out in the middle of nowhere, go find a car that's in that barn. We got there's a tip. Control. So you find, like, I found a um, There's a drop Porsche. cars on you every once in a while. Yeah, so I found a Porsche, and the guy's like, oh, give me, you know, like, let me fix it up in the garage. And then, like, 20 minutes later, in the in real time, while you're still playing the game, he's like, hey, I fixed it up. Come pick it up at any time. So I like that you can switch I, it between cars. I see, like, some slot machine kind of style thing where you almost want a car. So the point, yeah, so, for example, if you're doing a drift and you, you're, and, you know, drafting or passing people, slingshot, you get air, you slowly get more points and you level up and then you spin a wheel. And so it's basically, you know, you spin it and then it stops on something. There's, like, two or you three cars that you can use. win. Yeah, you can win a car or you can win more um, I think they're just credits to then buy a car that you want. Mm -hmm. um, so each race that you play through, um, it kind of encourages you to, you once you unlock this new car, it's then all of the races are kind of like that. But if you don't like that new car and you want to go back to one of your previous ones, you can go back to one of your previous ones and use that car and then the race mm -hmm. adjusts to the car that you have. So that's pretty interesting. So you don't have to necessarily have the fastest car if you like the way something handles, then yeah. the race is Or gonna... looks, which is, you know, you like a car, you like a car. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, fi I find... Mini Cooper's all day. <laughs> the, the, game, the game is a really great racing game. I'm just having trouble with the... So it is a Ford game, right? It's Forza? Forza Horizon 3. They, 
do you, have you seen any Model Ts, like a Ford, like the drag, the old? Um, you No, but I have seen like McLean. Roadsters? A Ford McLean. Oh, really? Yeah. That's probably dope. Cause, it's I mean, not a Ford. It's a Forza. Forza. Oh, I thought they was like they had like the Ford truck. And they have, all, they like, have all. They have all the different cars. Yeah, USA yeah. Yeah. But a lot, not a lot of games have. That's like their car. It was like the Ford 1930s. Oh, Ford they was, like, just the shit. They yeah, it's they a nice they truck. have a ton of different things. But I'm extremely confused right yeah, now. I, it's ju- it's it's just a lot. What I was asking, I didn't Forza. see. Forza. Yeah, it's I thought it was Ford. Ford. Yeah. yeah well, sorry. <laughs> But it's just like one of the games of the year. <laughs> I don't see any of these racing Ford games. Ford Horizon. Pick it up now. <laughs> it sounds right. Hey, would you put, when I walked over here, there was a right. huge fucking truck with the Ford symbol right on the back, just sitting there on the main street. Yeah, he's not wrong. Though. I'm dead he serious. He kind of is wrong. It's, it's a huge. I, I don't, don't know. know. He's anyway that parent. No. I thought, who knows? I mean, it Ford sounds Horizon I, is Ford. I I've never like, heard that from anyone before. I that thought that they insane. had like sponsorship on the game. For real, I did. <laughs> no joke. That is insane. Learn something oh. new every day. Ford Horizon. Yeah. Ford Horizon 3. Three. But um, so the the only other game that I played this week is um, it's <laughs> honestly, a, who who would have thought? A normal person. Uh, so the last game that I played this week is uh, indie game on the PSN, and it's called Beyond Eyes. So um, I think I saw this at PAX one year and you ba- you play a, a, a nine-year-old girl and she is at you know some sort of parade or flag day fourth of july celebration firework goes off mishap she goes blind um Had heard it before yeah, yeah. So she goes blind, and so and then you, that state loses their firework permit. You know yeah, that's bullshit. That's it's no, where one bad bad she Where were her parents? Could have been illegal to begin with. Yeah. 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 No, no, what, dude, this game is getting risque. Yeah. So you play as this nine-year-old girl who is blind. Illegally using fireworks. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. As long as you say allegedly, allegedly, you can say anything. anything. You can say. <laughs> And allegedly <laughs> using drugs and illegal fireworks. <laughs> so this nine-year-old girl you play, she's blind. She has a allegedly a allegedly friend. Blind. She yeah. has allegedly. a she has a cat. That, allegedly, yeah. <laughs> that shows up, and so Sources. the cat comes and visits her in at her house or in the garden outside of her house. So she's blind. She can't see anything. So How does she know it's a cat because it meows. And it has a bell. She probably touched mm. it. <laughs> I meow. It has a bell. <laughs> Anybody can meow. Meow. <laughs> so when it's a third-person game, and while you're playing it, Let's say him, yeah. you walk around and you start to uh, How discover can you walk around. You're blind. Can blind people not wa- walk? Can you not it's shut tough. your fucking mouth? I mean, but they don't <laughs> see anything. Do you well, just, like, that's just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pl- you play the game and. You walk around and you start to discover what the world actually is around you. So you're walking, and so you end up, you know, it's a path, or there's a fountain here, there's a fence over this way, there's grass, whatever. Wait a minute. Is this game we played? Was I with you on this? I don't know. It was but, like the black and white thing? No, that's no, that's a beautiful swan, or the unfinished okay. swan. But that was also blind, wasn't it? S- similar. You're so everything is white. So right. everything is white, right? And the more you walk, it's a very, uh, very bright, vibrant, painterly, watercolor esque looking. Right. Um, so you start to uncover these things, <coughs> and the further you go, um, everything behind you goes away. So um, you know it's only right in her general vicinity that you start to unlock what is actually happening in this world. So you can hear things, and so off in a distance, you'll hear a woodpecker. And so when the woodpecker is hitting the the tree, you can start to see it. So you're like, oh, let me walk over there. And so it's her journey to try and find this cat. The oh. cat comes and visits. The woodpecker. No, it's good, you know. It's good that you pay attention. So he hears one word. Yeah, he, he hears, hears one word, word and like looks up like woodpecker. Yeah. <laughs> so the game is very fucking slow. It takes. Forever for her to move. There's no run button. Well, I smash. Right? I, right? right? I understand sprint? she can't He's run. Taking long sprints <laughs> around the corner. So it's really painful to try and figure out what you're supposed to do because it is everything is white. The draw distance 
immediately it's it's huge so you don't really know where you're going mm -hmm. so you kind of have to walk around the entire thing and figure out okay i can't go here all right i can't go there because if you start to like veer off and go towards the middle of something something behind okay, you part. might go away also there are a lot of things where it is you know it starts you off with okay there's cats and birds and things like that so you hear the cat bell and you just think, oh, that's, you know, that's the cat. Let me walk over there. But it's actually something else. And so you can't go that way because she's afraid. She doesn't necessarily know what it is. So it's not the cat's bell. It's something else, and it freaks her out. Um, or she, you, there is, a, a, like, a woodpecker that, like, it hits the wood. And so you're like, oh, it's another, it's another woodpecker. Let me walk over there. But it's actually, a, like, a walk sign to cross the street. And so she goes out and a car has to like slam on the brakes and you're like jarred away from it. And um, it's, no, it's no longer white, it's dark smoke. So you don't necessarily know what you're getting into. You think you might know from previous experiences. And sometimes it is that, but a lot of the time it isn't. So How do you enjoy being blind? It's difficult. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult. Um, yeah. The game, it, I Never. mean, there's nothing to do. It's just a, a like a slow process of her story, and like there's one so it's section nothing of like, life. Uh, what is that other game? It's like Perception. Yeah, Perception. That we. It's not nearly as cool as Perception. Yeah, Perception is fucking sweet when it's all like sound echoes. Yeah. And so it, that same concept is there, so you can hear things and or imagine what you're hearing, yeah. but you don't necessarily know. Um, there are some puzzles which are pretty difficult. So it's like you have to. It's like. Okay, well, you yeah. can't see. So. Somebody <laughs> asked you how many yeah. fingers they're holding up, and you're like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> not sure. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> the, I mean, that's a tough puzzle. You never know. The mm. worst one is a girl throws a ball and it bounces out of her her yard, and she's like, hey, can you go get that for me? So you're like, ah, uh, yeah, sure. I saw, I heard it bounce. So now you're like, okay, let me just walk over here, and you make a beeline for it. But there's that a, then there's a, a bitch. Then there's a fence. <laughs> hey, blind kid, <laughs> go pick up that ball I just threw over the fence. It's red. Like, yeah. Why is a blind person playing catch? Well, she's not playing catch. She's, she's just, just walking by. She's walking oh, by, and, and the ball went over the fence, and the chick's like, go get it. Yeah. And this chick's like, I'm blind. So. <laughs> It is Where's also my seeing eye cat. Also, <laughs> dogs in this game are bad. They That's portray fun. dogs as bad. So oh, I'm not gonna play that. Strikes two and three. Done with this game, yeah. right? Let's end this. <laughs> You have anything else uh, to say? No, about? yeah, I do. I mean, it's way too long. Yeah. So it would have been perfect as it, it took me about two hours to beat. Okay. Two hours too long. That's, it was about. An, it it could have finished. You could have finished it up in an hour. Yeah. It's just like really long and drawn out for some parts and there's not really a, a need for it. Um, I, I felt like it would have been more impactful had it been a shorter, more concise I mean, Shorter experience. games like that are fucking sweet. Like I remember I played The Park, which yeah, that, was 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And it was a short story. The gameplay was kind of whack. The story was told interesting, you what you wanted to hear but it's very then... short, concise, and to the point, and then it's like, oh, that was an experience, now I'm done with it. But if you feel like you're dragging on with it, that's when it kind of sucks. Yeah, I feel like Beyond Eyes, had it been cut in half and just slightly faster paced, um, it would have been... Price of <clears throat> I think it was 15 bucks when it was originally released. I got it on sale for like two and a half dollars. Right. Two and a half? Two dollars. Two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half dollars. Two and one half dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Come right on up. So, um... Yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. Um, I don't really have anything else that I played. Uh, God, Mike, back there, you got anything? Nope. All right, cool. So we're going to take a quick break and come right back with the Drunken News, so stay tuned.